Hello everyone, this is Sri Guru over here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to start a second chapter. The name of the chapter is Motion in a Straight Line. Motion in a Straight Line. This branch of physics is called mechanics. Right? If any, the study of motion of the object without taking into account the cause of the motion, such type of study is called kinematics. Such branch of physics is called kinematics. That means if object is moving, what is the cause of moving object? Right? That is study is known as kinematics branch. Okay. If object is moving in a straight line, then such a study of motion of the object is known as rectilinear motion. Coordinate system. Right. Actually, 
there are two types of coordinate systems are there. First one is just wait. Inertial frame of reference and the second one is non inertial frame of reference inertial frame of reference or non inertial frame of reference inertial frame of reference means if we choose the coordinate system which is at a rest such type of inertial frame of such system such coordinate is known as inertial frame of reference hogadre if object is moving in a straight line if i choose the coordinate x axis which axis is at a rest which axis is at a rest right such coordinate system is known as inertial frame of reference and newton's laws are valid in only inertial frame of reference newton's laws are valid in only inertial frame of reference remember okay and non inertial frame of reference the name itself tells that non inertial that means is with respect to uh, coordinate with respect to the person or with respect to the thing the frame of reference itself is moving frame of reference itself is moving if the person is sitting in the bus we cannot apply the newton's law to that person because with respect to the frame with respect to the bus bus is moving when the bus is a stop suddenly the person will get the jerk right we cannot apply newton's law to that person by considering the frame of reference as a bus okay now remember there are two types of inertial frame of reference and non inertial frame of reference in case of inertial frame of reference the reference or coordinate system is at a rest but in case of non inertial frame of reference the coordinate system is also moving and in case of inertial frame of reference newton's laws are valid but in case of non inertial frame of reference newton's law is not valid okay now look at uh, types of motion there are three types of motions are there there are three types of motion first one is one dimensional motion Like and is moving in a boat. Then 
we require two coordinates. And this is what we call the origin, where x axis and y axis are get intersect. Right? That intersection point is known as a origin point, or we take it as a reference point, or where the observer is present and here. Correct. If object is moving like this, then the motion of the eye along this direction is two dimension. After certain interval of time, if the eye reach this point P, then how many coordinate I require to find out the position? Then I require two coordinates x and y. This x is representing at the position of certain time t, the x coordinate point is here and the y coordinate point is at here. Okay? If, if the object is moving in a straight line only, but in this direction, a straight line only, whether it is one dimensional motion or two dimensional motion. It is one dimensional motion only because if you rotate the coordinate system, if this is an x axis and this is a y axis, we can rotate this coordinate by like this and this is a y and this becomes a x. Then this is also a one dimensional motion only because it is moving in a straight line. Always we can rotate the coordinates with respect to uh, our choice. Okay? This is our choice. Next one is a three dimensional motion. If the butterfly is flying in this classroom, then the, to find out the position of the butterfly in this classroom, I require three coordinates. That coordinates must be mutually perpendicular to each other. If somewhere else and here the object or butterfly is present, then I require x, y, z points to find out the position of this object. Right? Correct? This is one dimensional, two dimensional and three dimensional. Okay? To find out the position of the object, if the object is moving in a straight line, then I require only one coordinate. What do you mean by coordinates? Coordinates are the uh, references. To find out the positions, we require these coordinates. Right? To one dimensional motion, we require only one coordinate. For two dimensional, we require uh, two coordinates. To find out the position of the object which is moving in three dimensions in a space, then we require three coordinates. Okay? Note on this or take the snapshot of this board. Okay, next. Uh, Come to the next point, scalars and vectors. I hope you already studied scalars and vectors. Magnitude value. The quantity having 
only the magnitude value, such quantities are called scalar quantities. If somebody asks you, what is the time? Then you will say that it is around 4.30 or 5.30 or something else, 11 o'clock, 2 o'clock, correct? That time, the number which shows only the magnitude value. What is the direction? We do not tell. Right? Okay? If you, if somebody asks you, how much you have weight? Sorry, uh, what is your weight? What is your weight? Then you will say, oh, 47 kg, 67 kg. That kg, what is the direction of that kg? What is the weight? What is the direction? That weight, that time, you cannot, uh, you can tell the magnitude numbers, only numbers. direction, Such quantities are called scalar quantities. Example, time. Scalar quantity. It does not tell about the 
direction of the motion of the object. Therefore, distance is a scalar. The dimensions. Dimensions of displacement is L. L. Dimensions. Correct. Agar ni vehicle move aata hai lepa, yaar do direction da move aata hai. Or da Hubli to Dharwad. Now you are going from Hubli to Dharwad. When vehicle is moving from Hubli to Dharwad in between the uh, Hubli region, it will move in any directions, right? Just we take into path length of the moving object or moving vehicle, correct? That is displacement. Next, sorry, uh, distance. Pi R by 2 Pi R plus Pi R by 
टू थ्री पाई आर बाय टू दिस इज द टोटल डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल्ड बाय द ऑब्जेक्ट इट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम ए इट रीच बी एंड नेक्स्ट इट रीच सी एंड इट रीच डी दिस इज द डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल्ड बाय द ऑब्जेक्ट इफ दे आस्क यू टू फाइंड आउट व्हाट इज द डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट displacement what i said the displacement definition is the shortest distance between initial and the final point this is the initial point and this is the final point right what is this shortest distance this is the shortest distance right this is not a shortest distance this is a shortest distance what the distance is this o this is r and what this distance this is also r because this is the radius That by using the Pythagoras theorem, we can calculate the distance of a. That it become r square square root of r square plus r square. That is r root two. R root two. Right? This is the difference distance and distance. Okay. We will continue in the. next video thank you for watching my video don't forget to like share and subscribe okay